I wrote a book some years ago called What Doctors Don't Get to Study in Medical School. No. Now, this book created a lot of problems for me. I almost lost my job. Anyway, I survived with the skin of my teeth. But a lot of people started hating me till they realized what is inside is not anything untrue. But it's true, but it doesn't fit in with the new model of medicine now, which has become a business model. Yamasu, Adati Prana, he only takes life. Vaikyo, Dhanan, Prana, Nature. You take money and life both. Now that is where the problem has occurred. Medicine, modern medicine was very happy up until the end of the 19th century. And incidentally, Western science also has changed. The king of science is physics, which at one stage, what is physics ultimately? Studying matter. And I'll give you an example of how physics has changed. In the words of one of the greatest physicists, who is the present president of the Max Planck Institute in Munich, I'm quoting Hans Peter Dior, who said, I quote, I have a nuclear physicist. My job, can you hear me? My job is to look at matter at its subtlest, subtlest, and subtlest levels, which I have been doing for 55 years. And now realize there is no matter at all. And he said, am I surprised? No, I was expecting this. But I have no job because I can't look at matter because there is no matter. And he is the man who found out that matter is energy and energy is matter. E is equal to M, which he calls as A duality, A duality. But he tells to us, you and me, that he is nobody in front of the Indian sages who called it as Advaita thousands of years ago. And he says how the human body works in a, in a stanza from the Bhagavad Gita, which is of course taken from the Upanishad. And explains matter. Bahi antas chabutana. It is inside and outside of everything. Charam acharmevata. It keeps on moving. See, I may look solid to you, but there is nothing solid about me. I have a bundle of jumping left of us or energy particles. Nobody can see that. And he said, Sukshma vate avidyan. The left of us are so small. Nobody, no, no scientist can ever see that. What a beauty. And this is exactly what the answer says. Sukshma Vate Avitne. Then it says, Durasam. If you don't know, you don't know. Till you know, you read me now. Now, Cha, Aniket, then you know it is inside you. In short, human body, what you and I are, we are a colony of 15 trillion individual human cells which live as individual human beings for millions of years. We are a single cell organism and this cell can do everything. It can think, it can eat, it can digest, it can excrete, it can breathe and it can metabolize and it survives. It's, it's born, it is dead. Now all this happens to a single cell in your body of which you have got Trillions and trillions and trillions. Now, what is interesting is they are all very happy with one another. Remember that? This is the most important part of the talk that I'm going to give you today. Your body consists of happy, contented 50 trillion cells. Now, if you are not happy, the cells get confused. What's happening? You know, we are so happy and we love one another. Not only we love one another, we love others also. Supposing I sit with Kartike and Sa, my cells start loving his cells. Now, if I start hating him, now the cells get confused. I want to love others and this fellow is hating others. Then you create what is called you, me, concept. This is mine, that is your, this is my house, my normal. I won't give it to you. This concept confuses our own body cells. They lose their peace of mind and they start creating one another, which in modern medicine we call as auto immune disease.
And I think today means nothing. And we call it as idiopathic disease. You will get confused. Big word. It's all Greek and Latin to confuse you. Idiopathic disease means I don't know what it is. <laughs> now we know what it is because we started hating our own people. <laughs> now the first principle of living happily here as long as you live, don't try to live here forever, you will not succeed. But as long as you live, if you want to be happy, you have to love not only yourself, but everyone else. That's exactly the essence of Ayurveda. It says, Aapto Kaseli Kave Aroke. Now, the main reason why we spoil our health is we start with selfish ideas. I want everything for myself. I don't want others to come up. And sometimes I even want to come up and others must destroy others. And this will destroy you and not that person. So, this is the basis of the human physiology. Having understood this, I wrote a book some years ago called What Doctors Don't Get to Study in Medical School. Now, this book created a lot of problems for me. I almost lost my job. Anyway, I survived with the skin of my teeth. But a lot of people started hating me till they realized what is inside is not anything untrue. But it's true, but it doesn't fit in with our new model of medicine now, which has become a business model. I call the present modern medicine as medical business. But even the father of modern medicine, Hippocrates, had warned us then that never make money in the sick room. This is what he wanted. Never make money in the sick room. Even I will have warned us. Why Dharaja Namaskutyam? I salute you. Why? Yamaraja Sahodana, from the brother of Yamaraja. Which is a good thing because Yama is a very ethical person. Even the director of CBA cannot arrest him because he kills everybody in the same way. A dog or a king. But the second part is not very laudatory to human being. I mean, dogs. He says, Yama is a prana. He only takes life. Why do you have a prana nature? You take money and life for Now, that is where the problem has occurred. Medicine, modern medicine was very happy up until the end of the 19th century. It was in the year 1900 that America discovered the power of oil and then paper money. Then people started becoming greedy. They wanted more and more and more money. So what did they do? They had these cartels of big business people. I won't tell you the name because the television may be they're quoting the names. No, I'm not quoting the names. There are three big cartels of business people in America. They were competing with one another. One was in oil business, one was in steel business, the other one was in money business. But they thought, if we came together, we can cheat the whole world. So they came together, you know what they did? They said, there were 147 medical colleges in America at the 1900. So they appointed a one-man commission to find out which are the medical colleges which are teaching scientific medicine, and which are those not teaching scientific medicine. How did they do that? They appointed one man commission who was the headmaster of a school run by one of these people. Retired headmaster inspecting medical colleges to see which is scientific and which is not scientific. This man's name was Flexner, Abraham Flexner. So this one man examined 147 medical colleges within six months Mind you, mind you, examining 147 medical colleges in six months' time and writing a report because this report would be submitted to the President of America, which said only 47 medical colleges teach scientific medicine. Do you know what they were doing? They were taking money from this cartel and they were using the chemicals as medicine. What were these chemicals originally? They were the extract. Last time when you make diesel or petrol, you get some extracts. And this was called in Latin as new joel. New joel in Latin means new oil. And from the new oil, they got the medicines. You probably tell you one medicine at least for your information. Whenever you have some headache, you go to a doctor or you can't sleep or you vomit, etc., you get a medicine called Larkactin, which we call as chlorpromazine in our language. Do you know where the medicine comes from? It is a direct extract of naphtha. While extracting rocket fuel from NASA, 
you get an extract coming out. That is the medicine which we have first started. Now, this is the kind of medicine we develop, and we said this is modern medicine which is scientific. So, the college is teaching naturopathy, chiropractic, homeopathy, herbal medicine, and uh, radio anesthesia. All these were closed down permanently after 1900. Although, very famous doctors like B.P. Palmer have found out that chiropractic is a very, very scientific method of managing most of the illnesses. Homeopathy was a great science. I don't know that that name was not there, but there was called herbal.